what printer I use and how it works. So I thought I'd make a little video about it. So I use the Epson EcoTank 2803, ET 2803. Now you can only convert EcoTank printers into sublimation printers, or you can buy a sublimation printer. Um, for mine, I bought the Hippo Ink and you can find that on Amazon. And all you do, and it has to be a brand new printer. You cannot do this on a printer that's already been used. Um, you open it here. You open the little tab. And for each one, there's an ink bottle and a syringe. So what you do is you load up the syringe and fill each color um, as, as you match them. You have all the colors here. They all come in the box with their own syringe and it lasts forever. I have printed so much and it hasn't run out and the quality is really, really good. Now, your sublimation prints will always be dull and then they will become brighter once you sublimate them with the heat. Some people use regular paper, regular laser paper. I don't. I use a sub brand paper. And the only reason I do that is because I want to maintain high quality in my products. And I think some people say they can't tell the difference. I think I can tell the difference. So a sub paper or other sublimation papers you can find on Amazon. Um, but yeah, I think the only regret I have is that I didn't buy a printer that prints in a wider format. This one will only go eight and a half by 11, but there's some that'll go, you know, 14 by 19, 11 by 17. And so you can sublimate um, bigger things. Some people will print a large image split in half and then tape them together, but I haven't tried that because I don't want to worry about another seam on my products. It's already hard enough to to um, eliminate the one seam you have on a tumbler per se, uh, much less adding taped images, you know, to it. So, for example, when they talk about a seam, you're talking about something like this. You see, this one has a seam but only because it's flowers that are really hard to match up. Um, but they're solid. They're really solid all the way up and all the way down. But anyhow, that is all about my printer. Like I said, my only regret is that I wish I had bought one that was uh, a large format printer, but I can always upgrade later. I don't really need it right now. I'm still learning how to sublimate and this is good enough for now. All right, see you all later.